Welcome along guys, welcome back to the garage. Today we've, uh, we're talking about security. We've got David here from Image for Security. If you cast your mind back, I think it's a couple of years ago. Yeah, about two or yeah, three, I think now. I fitted one of their guardsmen barriers to my old house, my single garage. Had a few troubles because the floor was so hard <laughs> and there's a video of it out on the internet somewhere. The weak point in my garage is probably my side door. Um, it's not, it's only a wooden door, you know, I, I want to change it later on to a proper secure UPVC one. Also, I want to secure the roller door, of course, because someone could pry that. And a few people have said they've got the same garage door as me, and it's really easy to break into. Yeah, they're, they're really easy, yeah. Yeah, so I want some sort of security on the garage door. If you're interested in security, um, stay tuned, because this video is going to be all about securing your motorcycles. Inside and outside the garage, absolutely. I suppose, David. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So if that sounds good, make yourself a cuppa and Chopsy, roll the intro. So what we're going to install, David, what, what are you recommending for yeah, the so, setup? So this is your garage defender um, for your roller shutter garage door. Um, essentially, there's a plate that goes on your door, which we'll show you in a minute. Yeah. And that comes down and lands on a base plate, which we secure into the floor. And then the defender itself, um, using the two nuggets underneath, slide right. into the base plate and then it's locked um, with, a, with our bullet lock, um, which stops it from moving. And um, traps. So that will stop anyone sort of prying the door open because it yeah, will be yeah. bolted, bolted. Yeah, exactly. It, it secures the, the roller shutter door to the plate on the floor using the defender itself. Um, and the way we've designed the defender is so that the distance from the outer skin of the defender at any point is uh, to the centre locking pin is greater than a grinder disc. So you uh, can't okay. actually cut from the outside to that centre locking pin. So that's how we design our products yeah. is with the grinder in mind. Um, and then you've got the cowl over the top, which does two things. Stops anybody from able to drill and attack the lock. Yeah. And it also acts as a handy handle for moving the defender yeah. in and oh, out. Fantastic. So the only way to get into the garage door, probably one of these fitted, would just be to angle grind of the goal into it, I suppose. That's, that would be the, that'd be the easiest I'm thing not, to do, wouldn't it? I don't it? want to give criminals <laughs> the, give the idea. idea <laughs> but, but mind you, I've got a couple of baseball bats upstairs. I've got the angle grinder going out here. Yeah, yeah, down. yeah. Run, run them off, yeah, run exactly. Off, yeah. But that's yeah. the thing, isn't it? I mean, you, it's layering security, isn't security it? is all about layers, um, and that's our message, is just use security, have physical security in place, make yeah. sure you're using it have different forms of security as well. So you've got your physical, you've got your, we're gonna put um, a barrier across your door there that's got an alarm padlock. So yeah. again, if anybody tampers with it, the alarm goes off. And then you, um, you can, that's, that's all you can do really. That's all you can do, yeah, that, that's yeah. it. As long as you feel safe and, and you can sleep better at night, then yeah. the, well, the security's done its job. What are those little so things the you put in? the base plate uh, the floor the floor base plate is um, secured by normally three uh, shield anchors um, for yourself is uh, just the two with your with your garage flooring was that any good or did I mumble <laughs> or, I just started mumbling didn't I <laughs> let me do it again, <laughs> do it again. <laughs> ramble mumble whatever <laughs> I just started talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> What are those little things you're using to secure it? Uh, yeah, so the, these are just two um, sleeve anchors. Normally we have three, but because of your garage flooring, we've just um, chopped the base plate off and it's just secured been with two of them. Okay, but they like break and don't they like soak? Uh, so there's a nugget in the bottom of the shield and that is driven up when we tighten them up. So that anchors ah, the shield in the hole. Yeah. It mixes the fluid and then No, it... no, no fluids. Oh, so this no, is no. different to the... Yeah, uh... totally different, uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, well, I, was, I thought it was the same things I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so then ones with like the resin capsules that yeah, they used yeah, to the use, resin ones, uh, yeah. we changed to sort of like a mechanical fixing now. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, purely because they're easier to install for customers and they kept getting damaged in the post. Ah, uh, I see. Um, but they, they're just as strong. So do they snap off it? So as you, no, as you take... Because it's covered doesn't need to be because the actual thing's over the top of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's it, secured in place. Okay.
So that's the garage door sorted out with the defender. For my for my side door, this this door's just a wooden. It's a bit it's a bit crap. This door, to be honest. Luckily, it opens inwards, so you know it's, if someone tried to kick it down, they'd be kicking into the frame, sort of thing. Opens at up, least it opens outwards. No, oh, no, sorry, yeah, I'll start again. Right, I'm wrong, <laughs> I? I was like, well, it ain't gonna work if it opens inwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's definitely outwards. For my side access door, it's not a very good door. I mean, it's only a wooden door. Thankfully, it opens outwards, so you can't kick it in easily. But if someone was to break in, you know, then it's nice to have some additional security to stop people getting the bikes out of the garage, basically. And this is where the uh, the guard is it all called a guardsman, David. Yeah, yeah, the guardsman, the guardsman. Uh, shed barrier. This is called on the website. Um, it's great for a shed or a side door like yourself door. yeah so this basically is going to bolt across the opening i guess and uh, yeah yeah exactly telescopes like the same way as the garage yeah. guardsman does and then it forms a physical barrier across your opening stops any items like your bikes um from being wheeled out yeah so the idea is they can't get a bike under it they can't quite but but you, exactly. know, if, you know to try and get the h2 through there could could Take a few fellas, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, so exactly. The other, the other thing is that we lock it with a, an alarm padlock. So if anybody tampers oh. with the barrier itself, the alarm yeah. on the padlock, 120 decibel alarm yeah. will go off. So hopefully that'll scare the buggers off. So it's like the operation. They have to try and get it out without yeah. touching the side. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Let's get it fitted. Yeah. Well, they can get it fitted because <laughs> I've not had much success doing this on my own. Yeah, we'll do it this time. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the right drills. So there we go, fully installed. I now have a, what's the exact word for this one? Uh, this this is, one's called a guardsman shed barrier. Guardsman shed barrier. But it, it can do a single door as well. Yeah, as yeah. A, well it's, as a shed it's perfect door. for this. So now I'm secure with the roller shutter. I mean, to get through that now, no one's gonna be able to wedge and get under. You know, you're gonna to have to get angle grinders out and stuff like that, which, you know, I'm obviously gonna hear. Yeah. And then the same with the door. I mean, they could break through the door, but they're gonna to struggle to lift bikes out over the top of it. Um, you know, I'd have to use an angle grinder to get through it. So, yeah, it's that I can sleep better at night knowing this is here. Because I, when I had the uh, obviously the guardsman at the old place, as soon as I didn't have it, honestly, the feeling you get, you sleep much better knowing that yeah. you've got the security in place. If I hear a noise outside, I'm like, oh, that's not someone breaking into the garage, yeah. is it? You know. Yeah. So yeah. I'll well, now as well with the alarm padlock on there. If anybody does disturb the barrier, then the alarm gonna, will be going off as well, hear, which yeah. uh, should wake up you, you and your neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> exactly, crossed. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Dave. So how much is the? Yeah. So the uh, shed guardsman starts from three nine nine ninety nine. Yeah. And um, we offer an install service across the country where we can come out and install it for you. Uh, ten year guarantee. So if anything goes wrong, we design and fabricate it all ourselves in house. So if anything goes wrong, you give me a it's shout really and cool. we come out and get it sorted. And it's recognised by Bmoto for your insurance. So um, yeah, for insurance, yeah. And then what about the defender? What the defenders? Um, the defenders. So we do two different styles: one for an up and over door, one for a roller shutter door. Yeah. The up and over starts from one hundred nineteen ninety nine to one hundred twenty pounds. And again, we offer an install service on both, so we'll yeah. come out and install, install it for it. you in case you haven't got the right Fantastic. tools or the Fantastic. right drill. <laughs> yeah, in my case. <laughs> so there we are. Brilliant. Really appreciate it. So if you want to know more about it, I'll put links in the description. Um, take you straight for the Image to Security website and you can have a browse through their products. And you do other stuff as well, don't you? I mean, like yeah, I said, we do all sorts. We've yeah. got the full garage barrier, which I had at the old place, the full the full guardsman. You also do do one for a double garage as well, don't we you? We do, yeah. the two guardsmen into, into, into a centre like locking, post. locking post. So if yeah. you're interested in that, 
have a look at the website. Ideally, I'd love to have gone for the full guardsman here, but because of the way the cupboards were, it, 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 I think it's a few too many compromises. So I'm happy now I've got the Defender. So there we are. If you've enjoyed the video, um, leave it a like. Uh, if, you think, if you think you know anyone who might be interested in garage security like this, then please share the video as well. And uh, that's it, David. We will see you, or I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers.